Hey guys, Christopher Bell just got his first road course win ever, and it came at Road America this weekend. That is where the NASCAR Xfinity Series is this weekend, and he got his sixth win of 2019, and he has one more to get to tie his amount of wins that he had last year, and he still didn't win the championship last year. So he wins. He started 12th, messed up qualifying bad, but was really fast in practice, and he gets back up to first and wins in NASCAR Xfinity Series at Road America. Austin Sindrick gets second. Austin Sindrick kind of struggled all day. They had old tires dropped like a rock, but then he battled back up. He got fresh tires, restarted 20th on the final restart with two to go, got back up to second. So uh, he didn't get three in a row on road courses like everybody thought he could, but he was one position off because he won Watkins Glen in Mid-Ohio earlier this year. Tyler Reddick gets third. Uh, he says he's bad at road courses, just like Christopher Bell does, but Reddick, out of the three uh, road courses this year, they've all been top fives, and for Bell, out of the three road courses this year, they've all been in the top two. Tyler Reddick gets third, another top five finish. It's a pr really strong uh, day for uh, the last week's winner. Noah Gregson gets fourth. He had a speeding penalty. He had damage. He started fifth, but he once again battles back up to a top five finish in fourth place. Kaz Gralla gets fifth. Uh, this is his last scheduled race of the year. And um, so really, really good finish, finishing result for Kaz Gralla in fifth place, a top five finish. Really good. Justin Haley gets sixth, just a quietly solid day for Justin Haley, and they're pretty safe to make it into the playoffs, no big worries there. Chase Briscoe gets seventh, he won the second stage, and uh, he had a really strong car, he was really aggressive, uh, he started 10th, he was really aggressive, and um, I was kind of surprised, he took him three wide on like the second to last restart, and thought he was going to take the leaders three, wi three wide, but uh, he kind of checked up there, and uh, didn't cause a crash, really. Jeremy Clements gets eighth. He won here in 2017. It was a big upset and another solid top 10 finish. Uh, he started ninth, moved up one position, and uh, that's just a really, really, really solid day for Jeremy Clements. Justin Allgaier somehow got ninth after pretty much just terrible day. Uh, something happened. He locked it up. He couldn't turn, and uh, he just went straight into the sand uh, trap and that was just and his splitter was dragging his his day was just it was it was a terrible day for Justin Allgaier but he battled back for a top 10 finish and finishes ninth Cole Custer finishes 10th top 10 finish another bad day uh, especially for one of the big three and he uh, he got shoved out on the track just because Regan Smith was there no blame to Regan Smith but Cole Custer ran through the grass got into the sand a little hit signs uh, which was the signs were for his sponsor, so that was kind of funny. And um, but he battled back up for a top ten. That's not too bad of a finish. Ryan C gets eleventh. A quiet day. He had some problems there at the end, and uh, Gray Golding slid and crashed in front of him at the end of the race. Michael Annette gets twelfth. Uh, he was also on the fresh tires at the last restart, like Austin Cindric, but pretty quiet day. Not too not too much of a good day, but at least he gets a top fifteen. Regan Smith, 13th, kind of quiet day in Junior Motorsports Equipment. I mean, it's a decent enough day. Better than the one he had at Mid-Ohio a couple weeks ago. Ray Black Jr. gets 14th, pretty solid. N Nicholas Hammond gets 15th. Uh, that's really good for that Mike Harmon team at top 15. Uh, pretty impressive for that road course ringer. Brandon Jones gets 16th. All he did is spin this weekend. Uh, spun in the race, uh, hit the wall in the race, hit the wall in practice, had to go to a backup car, start in the back. Just a terrible weekend for Brandon Jones in that Joe Gibbs racing car. David Starr, 17th. Ryan Vargas making his second career Xfinity Series start gets 18th. Joey Gase gets 19th. Josh Balicki gets 20th. He's a hometowner, road course ringer. Ryan Ellis gets 21st. Uh, he was pretty impressive today. Uh, Loris... Hesemans gets 22nd, BJ McLeod 23rd, AJ Allmendinger gets 24th, he had a really, really strong day, started on the pole, won the first stage, but uh, 
at the end, he he had a terrible restart, messed messed up his gears. Then he got kind of stuck back in the pack. Uh, him and Gregson kind of got into it, and Gregson kind of got squirrely, ran into him. Almendinger went in through the grass, hit the signs like Custer did, came back on the track, had a little skirmish with Cendric, and it was just a downhill ride from there. Almendinger gets 24th. Not a good day for AJ Almendinger. Tommy Joe Martins gets 25th. That's a pretty, you know, decent day. I mean, considering his equipment. Uh, John Hunter Nemechek, 26th. Not a good finish. Uh, still safe in the playoffs, though. But uh, he spun in the in in the one of the turns and kind of went downhill from there. But um, not a bad day overall. Just a bad finishing position. Matt De Benedetto gets 27th. He finished second in the cup race at Bristol last weekend. Thought he would win. He didn't, thanks to Ryan Newman. And Matt Benedetto got in a full-on Gibbs car in this NASCAR Xfinity Series race for Road America. He started second. He got back up to second. But on the last corner, he spun. It was He admitted it, it, it was his fault. I understand it was. We didn't really have any, like, uh camera footage of him spinning out by himself but you know he did he takes responsibility for it you know the news of him losing his ride uh at levine family racing this just he won't have that car next year it's probably going to christopher bell which is the winner of this race so bell will probably go to levine in the 95 in the cup series next year and be a rookie who knows where to benedetto will go since he's out of that cup series ride at levine family racing the 95 you know, I just feel bad for Matt Benedetto. A bad finishing position, 27th, but he just did it. He did a good job today in that Joe Gibbs equipment. Really good equipment. He's a re- really good road course ringer uh, and really fit his style here at Road America today. He had some pit road miscues with his team, um, but and then he kind of missed one of the corners, but he battled back up to second and then spun. So that sucks for Matt Benedetto. Vinnie Miller gets 28th. Gray Golding gets 29th. Gray Golding was having a pretty solid day today, but um, he finishes 29th because he spun and kind of mysteriously and hit the hit the barrier after going through his sand trap. So unfortunate for Gray Golding finishing 29th. Dick Carth gets 30th. Uh, he actually he was only in this car for like like not even the whole first stage first stage I think maybe maybe the whole first stage, but Timmy Hill actually took over for. Dick Carth, uh, we don't know why, uh, they never said, but Timmy Hill got in the car, hold up, held up Christopher Bell there for a little, wasn't up to speed, but Bell ended up winning anyways, and that was early in the race anyway. Josh Williams, 31st, Dexter Bean, 32nd, Garrett Smithley, 33rd, started up there on one of the final restarts, but just dropped like a rock, Stephen Light, 34th, Chad Fincham, 35th, Preston Pardis, 36th, uh, interesting park job, if you know what I mean, when he did that. Brandon Brown, 37th, and J.J. Yaley got 38th in last place in the 38 car. So, it really sucks for Matt to Benedetto getting a great ride, uh, doing really well, starting second, and having that just a mistake of his own, and finishing 27th, and probably his replacement next year in the Cup Series just got his first road course win ever, and his sixth win of the season, and I believe it's his 14th career Xfinity Series win. And a little bit more of a silly season news besides uh, 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 De Benedetto, couldn't think of his name there, uh, losing his ride probably to Bell next year in the Cup Series, uh, is Cole Custer, who finished 10th in this race, um, which drives for Stuart Haas Racing now in the Xfinity Series. He's in his third year with that team. Uh, maybe going to the Cup Series next year because Stuart Haas Racing in the Cup Series is eyeing a technical alliance with Go Fast Racing with, in the 32 car, which is where Corey LaJoy is now driving for Go Fast, which does not have any, any alliance, but they're looking for the alliance for next year. So maybe LaJoy could get an upgrade in equipment or they'll put Cole Custer in the 32 car for Go Fast with an alliance with Stuart Haas, and then he'll be full-time as a rookie in the NASCAR Cup Series with also Christopher Bell probably being a rookie as well if he goes to the Levine in 95, replacing De Benedetto. But uh, yeah, and if LaJoy ends up getting booted for Custer and Go Fast, then uh, LaJoy will probably go to the 38 for uh, 
Front Row Motorsports, which is where David Reagan is now. But David Reagan announced uh, earlier last week that he would be retiring from full-time Cup Series racing and just be part-time. Uh, so he won't be in that car. Probably it'll probably be LaJoy if he leaves Go Fast. And Cole Custer probably will be in an SHR affiliated Go Fast Racing number 32 car in the Cup Series. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Christopher Bell, sixth win of the season, first win ever at a road course, comes at Road America, probably replacing De Benedetto next year in Levine in the 95 in the NASCAR Cup Series. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I'm heartbroken. For Matt Benedetto finishing second at Bristol last uh, week in the Cup Series after the announcement of losing his ride, now running so well in a Gibbs Xfinity car, and um, yep, gets 27th after making his own mistake. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you next time.